everybody, this is Ryan here from CNR Reviews. I'm going to do a, um, a review today um, and an installation video here on the Blackhawk Spec Op um, stock for the Remington 870 shotgun. Um, I did a review a while back when I first got the shotgun um, about um, an ATI uh, folding, top folding stock that decided to fall apart at the range. Um, so. I changed it up to this, um, realizing that this is going to be a better option for me at both the range um, and in the home. So um, it does it does not fold, but it it adjusts um, to make it a little bit shorter so that I can maneuver in my house still with it. Um, if uh, if somebody comes into my house, um, they're not going to be happy to meet this shotgun. So anyway. Um, I'm going to show how to install and, or uninstall and then uh, install it here. So first thing you can do, or first thing you should do, is you're going to take this off. Now, give me one sec here. I'll pop this off. The way you do that is you actually you pull this lever rather than pushing it up to just move it or move it along the, the, the guide here. You actually pull it down and then you can just pull it off. So there it goes. Now, for the install and the takedown, there is a little notch here inside the stock. Okay, and it comes with this little nifty tool, this Allen wrench. And what you do is you just pop that in there. This is one of the only ones that I've actually seen that really goes into the stock, like the, the, the nut at the end. Um, the ATI barely bit into it. This one, the bolt is long enough. See, it's still in there. Yeah, the ATI one, we had to there basically custom do it <clears throat> to get it to go on. And I don't believe this nut comes out either. Um, I think this little hole is too small here. I think when they put it all together that it, it just kind of stays like that. So that's how to take it off. Um, now I've taken a, a, a Hogue, um, a Hogue just kind of like a handle grip um, and slid it on here. You don't really need it. I just like the feel of it better. Um, just gives me a little bit of extra grip when I'm out there. Um, you don't need it though. Um, I had one laying around. Don't spend seven bucks on one if you don't need it. Sorry, Chad uh, apparently can't get the uh, fucking tripod. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> tripod to work right. So um, anyway, um, it's very it's a solid piece. I mean, I bet I could probably hammer some crap with this. Like I'm not I'm not even kidding. Or your uh, face. Now this is hollow in here, but I haven't been able to actually. I haven't even been able to get in there. I don't really know how to. But. Who cares? I can see that it's hollow in there. Um, I think they did that for weight. It does have a cap at the end, though, so it's it, it's even a, a better finish than, like, a Tapco stock or something like that. Tapco just kind of has this little plate that flips over and then this little wire that sits on the top of it and things like that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it here. Um, the way you do that... Here's the nut on the 870. Done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, take your tool. You fit it in there. And you can feel it start to bite into the nut. And just twist it there. <laughs> Apparently Chad has a dirty mind tonight. Um, just keep twisting and twisting and twisting. Until it gets a little bit tighter there. And then I think for the the original install, I actually went and Okay, so that is as tight as it's gonna go. <coughs> so anyway, so that's the little tool. That's the install on the Blackhawk um, spec op stock. They do make a different version of this. 
that has the recoil reduction system. This is the NRS, this is the non-recoil reduction system. Um, and this thing works fine. <laughs> it, uh, it actually takes a lot more uh, recoil out of the blast um, than the stock, than the, the factory stock. Um, I was going to say the stock stock, but um, anyway, so the, and then it also takes a lot more than the, uh, the, the ATI top folding stock also. Um, this thing is really, really, really good. So now it doesn't come from, it doesn't come from the factory like this. Here, I'm just going to yank this off. There we go. It comes in the package like this. The butt, the butt end of it um, has a nice thick pad on it. You don't need to put that on or anything. It just kind of comes like this. Um, and there's another, another little special system that you can buy for this that Blackhawk makes specially for it. Um, and it's if it, you're going to put any type of optics or anything like that on top of your shotgun or any type of rail, um, you're going to need a cheek piece on this and the standard cheek pieces don't work because this thing is a little bit thicker um, like the CAA um, high cheek piece and you know things like that for um, that the ones that we've put on the Mini 14 or the Sega 223 they don't fit on this because it's a little bit thicker um, so Blackhawk decided to make one for it uh, it has a low cheek piece you can kind of see that in there um, you can use the low cheek piece if you want um, for just to hold like the shell carrier here and this holds shells really well actually I'm just load that up here holds five shells and again they give you all the the screws and everything um, if you're going to use the uh, the high cheek piece like I am now that I'm that I have the the small stock or the the small scope on here um, it fits over the top of the small, the small cheek piece, um, and then you have to screw that in. Also, um, there's a, there's also this little compartment that comes on the side of it that you can put on that goes right here. Um, it's for holding batteries or earplugs or something like that. I found that it kind of bites into my chest a little bit when I shoot, so I, um, I elected not to put this on. <laughs> so. Um, but I saved all the, the screws and the Allen wrench and everything. It all fits in here. Um, so you can throw it in your bag and keep it all together. Um, but the way this fits on, you keep your, keep your, uh, your butt end of your, of your stock like this. You fit this over the top of it. Like that. And then you proceed to beat the hell out of it until it goes into, until it goes into place. There it goes. <laughs> it's all in there. And it doesn't really come off unless you really grip a hold of it like I did earlier and just kind of yank it off. So, um, yeah, that, that works well. Um, then you can uh, put your stock or your butt end back on. Again, taking it. There you go. And that is the uh, the Blackhawk Spec Op stock with the Power Pack system is what it's called. Um, and uh, again, high cheek piece, low cheek piece, shell holder, and a battery or storage compartment, which I elected not to put on. Um, comes with full installation instructions. The stock you can pick up at uh, um, either Sportco, or Cabela's um, online for around 50, 60 bucks. Um, the Power Pack. <laughs> Yeah, the power pack is about uh, about forty bucks, <laughs> thirty-five to forty bucks. So if you want it, um, they really uh, they really kind of take advantage with the power pack uh, because you can't use a whole bunch of other um, you can't use other other uh, other companies' accessories on the stock because again, it's a little bit thicker. So you have to buy the Black Hawk power pack. So they kind of get you with that, but it's a great stock and well worth the money. Um, it's better I, than ATI. Yeah, it's a lot better than ATI, and it's held up. I mean, you guys have seen the videos of it of it holding up well. I took the ATI out for one range uh, demo, and it decided to break. So um, this thing's held up for countless, countless um, shots. 
So uh, anyway, this is Ryan from uh, from uh, CNR Reviews, and uh, sorry, I'm kind of getting a little distracted. Chad's telling me I'm running out of time. So um, anyway, the last thing there is a little um, there's a strap holder here for a for a like a safari hook or something like that you can put on there. Um, so anyway, again, this is the Blackhawk Spec Off Stock with the Power Pack, and this is Ryan from CNR Reviews. Thanks for watching.